Hey everyone, welcome back to the Anderson Bros Outdoors. I'm Jake, and today we have a this versus that, or that versus this. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back. As I said, my name is Jake, and today we're doing the Red Cat Fusion brand new versus the Vanquish Stance, which is relatively new. The goal of today is to go out, set up nine gates, and get some footage with the two trucks. Now, I did take a, another driver with me. His name is Dalton. He's not going to be in the video, but he will be driving both trucks. We did alternate. You're only going to see a set of one gate run. Uh, so one through nine with me driving one th truck and Dalton driving the other. I'm not going to tell you who is driving which because they both came out relatively similar. The goal of this video is to remain completely agnostic to vendors. So I know that my personal feelings would sway one way or another, and I don't really want to push that onto you. First things first, let's talk about the major differences between the two trucks. First, we'll start with the Red Cat Fusion. This is a brand new truck as of three weeks ago. It is pretty good. This truck is a flat rail chassis, zero degree skid, chassis mounted. The rest of it is pretty typical. The other big thing is it does come with a Hobby Wing Fusion SE, which is fantastic, by the way. The servo is really good. The Beck voltage right out of the box is 7.4 volts. So all in all, you do get a pretty well-rounded truck. Now there are some downsides to the truck like every other truck out there, predominantly being the axles or the front axle for that matter with the U-joints. It is what it is. All trucks have potential issues. Outside of that, this has been a relatively decent truck. I haven't had any major complaints with it except for the axle. Moving into the stance, what makes this truck different is it is a flat rail chassis, much like the Red Cat, but it has a axle mounted servo instead of a chassis mounted servo. There's a couple of things there that give it an advantage. First of all, you have a lot more articulation in the front end because you don't have what's called bump steer. So you can have full steering regardless of the articulation of the axle. It also helps keep the weight on the axle and keep your center of gravity lower. You get a couple of different things. You get better steering, you get better articulation, and you get a better center of gravity. That should sway that specific point to the stance, but we'll see. The only other difference between the two is the stance comes with a brushed motor setup which I think is fantastic out of the box for being a brushed motor. That's about it. They're both very similar trucks. The biggest difference is going to be the way the servo is mounted. The stock ESC Beck voltage in the stance is 5.9 volts. If you do get a 1080 or another ESC that you can adjust the Beck voltage and jump it up to 7.4 volts, I believe the servos are very similar. There is very little difference between the servos from my testing once the voltage has been ramped up on the stance. The motor is obviously going to be better in the Fusion than in the stance. The other downside to the stance is the links. So this is not a 100% stock truck. It is all stock with one exception. It does have the upgraded links on it. It comes with, I believe they're three millimeter and we put the six millimeter links on here because we were bending up the stock ones. That is the only upgrade done to the stance. The stance has seen many drivers, many batteries, lots of usage as you can see by the tires. They are really beat up. It's been a great truck. The other thing that we'll say is a downside to the stance is the drag brake is terrible. <laughs> it doesn't work very well and the sliders can bend real easy since they're metal so you do have to pin them back. Outside of that it's been fantastic. It's seen water. It's gone completely been submerged and it's still running. I think that's finally taking a toll on the receiver though as you can see in the video coming up. Now a couple of other things that I forgot to mention about the Fusion is the Fusion has not actually been submerged in water and the receiver went out on it so we are using a Spectrum setup that I had laying around. I'm not going to dive into that. Just know that the receiver has gone out on this truck and we had to replace it. Both trucks do have weights on the front portals which is fantastic. Really the consumer, me and you, are benefiting from all of these new vehicles coming out. One manufacturer is pushing another to be better and vice versa. The trucks are pretty similar. We're going to weigh them really quickly and see what the weight difference between the two is, along with the bias front and rear, and then we're going to jump into the gates. We do have our handy dandy Sky RC weight system. 
Links in the description below if you need one of these. And they are finding right now. We're gonna zero it out. This is going to be the left. The driver's side is going to be the left side. The passenger side is going to be the right side. The front is in front and the rear is in the back. Okay, so it looks like it's all on there. We're going to lift it up, make sure it's all zero. It is all zero, hit tar a couple times and set the truck directly back down. One thing to note is there are not gonna be any batteries in the trucks. These weights are without batteries. So it looks like the total weight is 95 and a half ounces. The front rear bias is 59% front, 41% rear. The left right bias is 49% left, 51% right. That is the Fusion. Let's go ahead and see what the stance weighs. And they should be the same wheelbase, so it should fit right on there, and it does. It looks like we are 59% biased in the front, 41% in the rear, 51% left bias, 49% right bias, and then we have a total weight of 81.8 ounces. It is significantly lighter. The stance is significantly lighter than the Fusion, which is... Interesting. So now that we know the weights, let's go ahead and dive into the gates. But before we dive into the gates, just know that we're not expert drivers. We're not professionals. It's probably not going to be perfect. So bear with us and take the footage for face value and let us know what you think or how you think each truck did and which one you would prefer getting. Let's roll the footage. Try and back it up and try and come at an angle like this. Yeah, like that. touched it. There you go. All right. Made that one. I think the receiver in this truck's on its way out. Maybe. Oh wow, that's going to be a lot tougher than I had actually anticipated. Oh, almost got it. That's the tough part. Oh wow, slid right by it. I don't know if we're going to get this one. this right gate. Alright, that's how we're doing it. We killed that gate. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna immediately dump over. It's fine. Here, I'll... I'll yeah. 
this one. Oh my. Oh, tag that gate. through there real fast. If it falls, just let it fall and catch it right there where you're at. Okay. Don't don't take your hand off the thing, the remote. Yeah. How'd you go up over it? Just on the shallower side? Uh, yeah, I went up over it on this side because I killed that cone. So yeah, just up over it. Basically right up over that gate. Just about touched that one. Oh, I might touch this one. Probably a good line selection there. This thing, you know what?
Almost touched it. Oh. Almost kissed her. You're gonna need to back up and go more right. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Perfect. Nope. Yep, straight. Yep. I came in at the wrong angle compared to you. No, that's pretty good. You just stay. just like that you shouldn't make it it should lay over here before long oh don't go right left stay right there you go all right now start turning left yeah there you go boom I can't see all right go kid. right okay, you're good boom and that was a clean one Alrighty, folks, there we have it. We have that versus this or this versus that or whatever you want to call it. You saw the footage. You saw the gates. There is a couple of things that I want to touch on that I did not touch on previously. The first and foremost thing is we are not experts. I cannot say that enough. Could we have done better? Absolutely. This is a hobby. This is all for fun. <laughs> so, you know, if you want to scrutinize the driving, feel free to do so. Just know that we don't really care. One of the things that I want to touch on is overdrive. Overdrive was pre-installed with the Fusion at 20%. There is a 24.5%, I believe, overdrive in the stance. Very, very close. No real advantage. I don't know if 4% is going to make a difference. The second thing that I want to touch on is the inserts in the tires. The inserts in the stance are dual-stage foams, and they are really, really good. The inserts in the Fusion are... I don't know if they're existent. They kind of suck. It is what it is. And then finally, let's talk about points. The stance ended up hitting 40 points worth of gates, and the Fusion ended up hitting 50 points worth of gates. We don't really care. I didn't really keep track because, again, this is all about having fun. If you are super competitive and you have to win, you're likely not going to buy either one of these trucks. Welcome to reality. Outside of that, both trucks are really fun to drive. I do have a personal opinion on which truck I would purchase, but I'm not going to put that in this video. We're going to let you decide which truck you like more. Comment below. Tell us which truck you have and how you like driving it. With that being said, thanks for making it this far. Feel free to give the video a like, and we hope you have a great day.